Hawani McDonald has put up his hand and he'll play in the back of the scrum for the first time in his career. He's the fourth different player to wear that jersey for the Stags this year. So they've had one or two injury problems. Jamie McIntosh, a player who must be challenging hard for a trip away at the end of the year, the Southland captain. And Jimmy Cowan, well, he's been one of the more talked about players in New Zealand this year. Initially, not for great reasons, but to his credit, he's overcome all that to establish himself as the first choice all-black halfback and a real boost to the Southland side. Really couldn't have come back at a better time for them. Tanira Latima leads the team out. And again, an enthusiastic crowd here at Mount Monganui to greet them. Oh, Colin Burke is the leading forward try scorer in the Air New Zealand Cup. A very versatile and talented player. He was under a bit of a cloud for this match, but has been cleared to play. It's a pack that coach Herb Schuler has been able to keep pretty much intact and they've done a good job for him. Solid tight five and a very good loose forward trio headed by Latimer and this man here, Colin Burke. In the backs, Nigel Hunt has shown that his talents certainly aren't restricted to the seven-a-side game. He's provided a lot of thrust in midfield outside the all-important figure of Mike Delaney. Yes, it was Nigel Hunt that actually got out on the drift and made the tackle. Now Colin Burke wanting to take it quickly. But, uh, go again and Latimer gets it away to Burke. Taken in the tackle by Tim Boys and Blair Stewart on the 10 metre mark. Now Delaney moving it on. This is Nigel Hunt. To Puna now. They go to the short side again, hoping not to run out of room this time. And Joe Savage. The man who advances it. Now getting some width on it. Burke swings the pass away to King. And King gets the fin going too. A good one. Crashing into the tackle of Jason Carwell. So some good running from Solomon King in the early stages of this game. And Bay of Plenty just out from the 22 now. Aporo takes the tackle. Centre field. They can go either way. To Puna, away to Delaney. Now they swing it wide to Jason Horner. Gets it back and field nicely, and here's a try to Nigel Hunt. Well, this is an excellent start from the home team. Crouch, touch, gauge. So to Puna to put it in, and gets it from Burt. And little dummy, and off he goes again. Beat Jimmy Cowan on the dummy. Rookie Tapuna scores. Oh, what a cracking try from the little halfback. Oh, I think they're probably feeling reasonably confident in their ability to do that. And it is screwing towards the blind, but uh, they pick it up, Bates, and go open. Now Cowan, and Saunders comes in from that left wing. Now Rutledge. Stopped in his tracks, but he gets the pass away. Boys trying to rip it away and get over the line. Boys, can they hold him up? Held up. Scrum five, red. Oh, good defence. Mike Delaney and I think Nigel Hunt, the other man, getting up. Scratch. Touch. Gage. Use that. Colin Burke reaches almost into the front row to take that one out. Rookie Tapuna has done pretty well here. Puts the kick down towards the 22. Matt Saunders going back for it. And 19-year-old Robbie Robinson clearing away for touch. Puts it out just on halfway. fit right on halfway, according to the touch judge on the far side. Here he is. Pariana just for the second time in the game. Into the line out. Moore lobs it down. And rookie Tapuna heads off on another run. Still going. Now he gets it on to Delaney. Brilliantly shifting it to Hunt. A put on. McDonald scores third try for Bayer And that was brilliant again from Rookie Tapuna. They've made a mess of it. Delaney. Oh, brilliantly taken by Robbie Robinson above his head. And off he goes. Breaks the first tackle. Still going, Robinson links up now with Kenny Lynn. Seven or eight metres from the line. Southland desperate to hit back before halfway through the game. Now it's Rutledge. He's got the arm out. They were offside again. 
Not for the first time inside their own 22. Offside, four and five. And five. Cowan takes the tap. Has a go himself. Over. Well, great reaction from Jimmy Cowan. And Southland get a much needed try before half time. This good Thursday night crowd here. And getting up to challenge two, Bay of Plenty. And they've got it. And they've got a penalty. Rutledge straight in the side. He was frustrated. Ball had not left the line of touch. Two red came on the goal. Yeah, side. terrific steal at the front from uh, no, John the Moore. Line. They put a lot of pressure on. They condensed the line out at the front. There were still two jumpers left at the back, but Rutledge chose to go to the front, and that's where Moore got them. Here's Delaney. 15 in from the right wing touch. You'll push this almost into the teeth of the breeze, although look at the flags. Not a lot going on up there, is there? And that's a good kick from Mike Delaney. First points of the second half go to the home team. Bay of Plenty out to 24-10. Again, front of the line out the target, but straight away they take Huani McDonald down. Rutledge, who's been all endeavour in this game. Cowan to McIntosh. And you can see they're trying to get their hands around the ball, Bay of Plenty, but he's pushed it behind him. Now Robinson and a nice ball on to Saunders. And Matt Saunders scores for Southland. Well, with Stewart gone, falls on the shoulders of Robbie Robinson to do the goal kicking. And he's dragged it away to the left. Well, who knows how important in this game every single point's going to be. Well... It's been lost forward, and they've given it away to Southland. Robinson starting to threaten. Now straightening it is Lynn. Kendrick Lynn. Brilliant try. They've still got eight or nine minutes to win this game. It's a gift two points, so the deficit comes down to just two. And you've got to think they're getting enough field position to at least kick a penalty or a drop goal as well. That's the 22. So Bay of Plenty hanging on to a two-point lead. Southland hanging on to the ball relentlessly. Four minutes to play. Cowan taking his time, looking at the options. He's got Tafari away to his right. That's the direction they went. Bay of Plenty not committing any numbers to the breakdown at all. I wonder if they'll start thinking about the drop goal as an option. And they grind it up again. Not really making any ground. Here it is. Now they go back to Robinson. Here's the drop kick. And it is away. Drop out from the 22. Wow, well, it's just this is huge. This is a home quarter final, maybe. Again, Bay of Plenty had some difficulty at scrum time, but Solomon King brings it away. Now they'll try and tie it up against one of the best packs in the competition, Elmiga. Tapuna points out where he wants the forwards to stand. Latimer says, I'll take control here. There's still a minute and a quarter to go. Kuka to McGugan. Into the last minute. Southland getting up, trying to hold the man up. Now they go to ground. Oh, that's silly. Well, he gives them the benefit of the doubt. He's getting a bit vigorous. But they've still got it. Solomon King, who started the match with a crashing run. Tapuna comes away with it. Now McDonald. 30 seconds to go. Southland need the steal to have any chance. Bay of Plenty desperately hanging on to it. Need numbers over the ball. Latimer's been superb here. Well, the captain barking out the instructions. Southland desperately trying to hold the player up and rip the ball away. Time almost up. There's the siren.
Well, it's a mess on the ground, but they've got it. They just need to get it into touch now, Bay of Plenty. It's a penalty. Jamie McIntosh, penalised, coming in the side, throws the ball away in disappointment. And Bay of Plenty somehow are going to hang on for the win. And what an important win, too. Southland came hard at them in the second half. But Bay of Plenty hanging on to keep alive their hopes of a home quarter final. So the final score here, Bay of Plenty 24, Southland 22.